Hey guys and welcome back to another video tutorial. Uh, this is the first one in a while but I thought I would make a second part to one of the more popular videos that I made a little while back that got quite a few comments um, and questions and everybody seemed to like quite a bit. Um, but there was a couple uh, questions about how to draw a wall underneath the roof. So we want to draw basically a wall that follows that really uh, organic and curvy form or shape um, and there's a really easy way to do that uh, there's a couple little tricks and techniques to get it pretty spot on um, but we're going to run through those and they're, they're pretty straightforward they're actually really useful for lots of things even um, outside of uh, curvy structures uh, before we get started please as always if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and the little bell um, and if you do have any comments or questions or want me to make a video about something else, please leave them in the comments section below. Um, I do my best to, to respond to those as quickly as I can. Um, but sometimes uh, other, other viewers are really good to respond also and, and are really helpful in that sense. So thanks again. Um, I'm going to jump into it now. First thing we want to do is jump into the site plan. And the first thing really is just to draw that wall. So if you pick the wall, uh, you can choose the wall type up here. And I'm going to come down and choose a storefront. So a curtain wall storefront type, which has all the mullions and all that. And rather than drawing the wall uh, kind of just horizontally here, I'm going to make it a little more interesting and draw it on an angle to show you that this technique works regardless of where you draw your walls in the building. If we have a look at the 3D view. That's all we've drawn there, just the wall going from one level to another. If I drag it up through the building, we can see that there um, looks kind of cool, except that it doesn't uh, match the roof. Uh, typically, you would try and attach it, but you'll see what happens when we select that and go to attach. We can't actually select this curved structure because it needed to be created using the wall command. Um, so there is uh, another way that we can do that. And it's using edit profile, but with a little bit of a trick. So if we go to the site tab again, or site plan, there's, what we want to do is basically draw a section that is parallel and as close to perfectly in the center of this curtain wall as possible. So we can just eyeball it by picking section, coming in here, and coming across like that and it kind of snaps to it and that's probably okay. Um, note that if you want it to be even more precise, I'll actually show you because it'll take two seconds, you can actually draw a reference plane. So if you go reference plane, that'll let you actually snap to the center of the wall and come out here parallel. Oops, not like that. That will actually let you snap to the center of the wall and then come out here parallel and then you can draw if you go to section you can actually snap now to that and you can snap down here as well so this section now is exactly in the center line of that wall so if you double click this open up this crop view a little and you can see there we're pretty much cutting uh, directly like straight through the middle of that curtain wall so now if we select it and go to edit profile we can start to trace around here uh, keep in mind unfortunately you can't pick lines it won't let you pick line here it'll only let you pick a line at the back of the curve so the, the first and the last curve um, it won't let you pick any line you know, at any random spot that you choose to cut a section through uh, so what you need to do is just draw it and I would use one of these two. You could probably use a spline as well. Might be another way to do it. Um, but I would probably just use the curve and the straight line here. I'll start end radius arc to begin. And try and keep it probably as close to the center as possible. Might make it easier. Like that. Just keep this coming along. Note that you can 
just use the straight line, by the way. So as long as you're keeping the line inside of uh, the, the roof, you can basically use any line type that you like. Well, it's getting a bit close there, but it should still be okay. Um, I'll do the next half in straight lines just to show you what I mean. So it doesn't actually matter if you draw this. It's actually okay as well. And to be honest, I would probably have normally done this just as a basic wall to begin and have done the edit profile. It probably makes it a little bit uh, faster. Probably lags a little less. Um, but this is also not too bad as well. So we come down here and finish that off about there. And then TR to trim. Also on this side, TR to trim. Then hover over the outside tab, select delete, and then hit that green tick. And it'll give us this little error. Can't create mullions, and we need to delete the elements, of course. So delete. And there we go, that's pretty much it. So if we look at that in 3D for a second, we'll tidy it up in a second. If we look at that in 3D, you can see it's pretty much almost there already. And I mean, you could almost leave it at that and it's fine. But we're going to do a little bit of tidying up because you can see some of these edges, uh, like there, for example. We've got these border mullions sticking through. So what we want to do there is select it and go to edit type and then you want to change down here in vertical mullions and horizontal mullions you want to get rid of border one type and border two type for both of these so currently it's set to this rectangular mullion if you pick the drop down and go to none and you can set them all to none and we want to do the same down here we can actually just copy or type none if you like but i'll just paste it like that and paste it there using the keyboard shortcut control v Okay, it gives us a warning saying, you sure you want to delete mullions? Yes, we're sure. And that's pretty much spot on. So you just want to make sure that there's nothing sticking out over the top or the outside either. Um, and that on the inside, the glass is going all the way through, which it seems to be doing pretty fine. Um, that's pretty much it. You can use that technique to create walls anywhere in this building. You can also, if you want to bring any mullions back, for example, down here, you can come up to mullion and pick that. Um, so I'll show you just really quickly if you wanted to do another <clears throat> site. Same thing again. So architecture wall. And let's do one on this side that looks something like that. And actually, I'm going to just change it to a basic or a generic wall for a second. There we go, generic 200, and draw a section. And this will probably take about a minute, I would say, start to finish. Section like that. Pick the section, pick the wall. We can drag it out just to see. We've got here something like that then we can go to the section edit profile and start to trace and I'll use the arc in this case it should it's actually pretty quick as well with the arc you can see that's a lot faster now that it's not a curtain wall it's not it's also not snapping to just random mullions and bits and pieces here and there well, that might be an issue there that I've come inside, but I'll show you how you can quickly fix that. I might make it an arc from here to finish that. And just do a straight line to the end. TR to trim. Same on this side, TR to trim, tab to select the remaining lines and hit the green tick, back to 3D. <clears throat> awesome. Note that there might be a, there may be a little bit sticking out there and that's only because it's a relatively, it's a pretty thick wall. So 
Oh, that's actually okay. They're just the graphics, I think. There. You can always edit the profile anyway. Uh, you go here. This one looks great as well. Select this. Go to storefront. Like that. And it's already set. It should be perfect. Here we go. We've got no mullions around the outside. Super clean. Same thing again if you want to add the mullion or the frame down the bottom. You have that there. That's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have got any other questions about this tutorial or previous tutorials, please leave them in the comments. I can, I'm happy to make some more videos about this kind of stuff. Um, otherwise, if you enjoyed it and found that helpful, please uh, yeah, leave a comment or hit that like button. And definitely, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Um, and I'll be making a lot more videos like this um, over the next uh, little while. So thanks again. Have a great day and yeah, see you in the next one.